There are two timing events that are part of the window object that both allow execution of code at specific time, time intervals. The two timing events are set timeout and set interval. For set timeout, you pass in a function in milliseconds, and the program will wait the specified number of milliseconds and execute the function. Let's see some code. Okay, here's the set timeout function. It could be window.setTimeout, but the window is implied. You pass in the name of the function, which is by, and then here's the function down here. You also pass in the milliseconds here. So after 3,000 milliseconds, which is three seconds, it's going to run the function by, which is just going to console.log goodbye. But before that, it's going to console.log hello. So let's run that. One, two, three. So you saw it said hello and then goodbye. It is possible to stop the function from running after the set timeout is called. You must assign the set timeout to a variable. So we'll do var. So we've set that to var timeout ID, and then we're going to call clear timeout and pass in the variable. So let's try that. It's going to say hello, but it will never say goodbye because we've cleared the timeout. The set interval function is similar. You pass in a function in milliseconds, but the program will execute the function continuously, waiting the specified number of milliseconds between each function. Here, we're creating a timer. We're going to set the count to zero, and we're going to call the set interval pass in the counter function and 1000 milliseconds that's one second so every one second it's going to call this counter function where it's going to log count it's also going to increment count one and we're going to set it to an int id up here i already have a button so in the button we have an on click event that says clear interval with an int ID. The int ID is down there. We can stop the timer by clicking the stop timer button and it won't go on forever. So let's run that and see how that works. Well, you can see it's counting every second, but if I click the stop time button, it stops. So clear interval just stops the function in the set interval from running. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.